Hi guys, welcome to my channel Science for All. Today we are going to discuss about energy and different forms of energy. We are going to discuss today potential energy and kinetic energy. First of all, let's see what is energy. Energy is capacity to do work by any object. For example, this object has capacity to do some work. Then we can say this object possesses some energy. Now, energy possessed by an object is how much and how do we measure it? What is the unit of this? Because we are measuring in the form of capacity to do work. How much work it can do? That means the unit of work is equal to unit of energy and that is joule. Now let's see one kind of energy that is potential energy. What is potential? For example, if I have got 60% marks in exam and my teacher says that you have potential to get 90% marks. That means I have capability to get 90% marks but I am not getting it now. If I get 80% marks, it is not right to say that you have potential to get 60% mark because I already got 80% marks. So that means I have capability to do something but I am not doing it. Same thing if this object has some energy and potential, it has potential to do work but not doing now. That means this has potential energy. For example, I lift this object up to certain height but I am not leaving it. If I leave it, it has some energy and that is because of its movement. But now it has energy, it is not doing any, anything. But it has capability to do work. It's not doing now. That means it has potential. It has potential to do work. That means it has potential energy. Same for example, slingshot. I have pulled it, but I am not leaving it. Till the time I leave it, it has potential. It's not doing it, but it has potential to do work. Once I leave it, it moves and it can do. Say for example, it can break a glass wall. That is also a work. Potential energy of an object which is lifted up to a height of h is the potential energy at that particular height is equivalent to work done against the gravity. Now what is work done? Work done is force multiplied by the displacement. In this case displacement is height h and force is f equal to ma. m is the mass of the object. And in this case, acceleration is due to gravity, which is denoted by G. So I can say force is mg and displacement is h. So potential energy that is equivalent to work done against the gravity is mgh. That means formula for potential energy is mass multiplied by acceleration due to gravity and the displacement, which is height in this case. Now next form of energy is kinetic energy. What is kinetic energy? Kinetic energy is the energy possessed by an moving object or the capacity to do work by an object due to its motion or the movement. Now let us see that how to calculate the kinetic energy. If an object with a mass m is moving in uniform velocity v then kinetic energy possessed by this is half m v square where m is the mass of the object and v is the velocity now um, let us see if i uh, lift an object up to certain height h it has kinetic energy zero because it's in the um, it's not in it's not moving yet and it has some uh, potential energy that is mgh h is the height of the uh, this object from the ground level now at a, if i leave it at a given time maybe at the start in between somewhere and at the when it is hitting the ground the sum total of potential and kinetic energy always remain same the sum of kinetic and potential energy is called mechanical energy. Let us see. Uh, I said the total energy is 
equal to always equal to uh, sum of potential energy and kinetic energy and it's a constant now at the maximum height when object is not moving and height is h so that means we can keep v equal to zero so this part has become zero and the total energy is mgh that means equal to potential energy and what happens when uh, this object is just touching the ground that time h will become zero and this portion or the potential energy will become zero and the total energy is equal to half mv square now uh, i said at a given time um, this uh, this is total energy is always constant let us see if there is any relation we know this equation v square minus u square equal to 2 a h in this case this acceleration is due to gravity so we can replace this by g and the start we had uh, the initial velocity was 0 so that means this portion is 0 v square equal to 2 g h that means if I need to calculate value of this g h then this 2 will go other side and it will become g h square equal to v square divided by 2 and in this equation if I put g h equal to v square divided by 2 so it will become half m v square that means there is a relation i hope you enjoyed this video and the facts about potential and kinetic energy in case you have any question please write in the comments i'll be back with more interesting science facts and concepts thank you